Hello everyone! Today we are talking about metaphors and idioms. Before we start with some discussion and a proper presentation, I would like you to consider the following questions. 1. What is a metaphor? 2. What is an idiom? 3. In what contexts are metaphors and idioms used? And 4. I would like you to write down any examples of metaphors and idioms that you may know. Now that you have had some warming up time, let's work on what an idiom is. An idiom is a figure of speech formed by a group of words whose meaning is considered a unit. The meaning of an idiom is different from the meanings of the separate words. An idiom is therefore an expression. Let's study now some examples of idioms in context. As time ticked away, students went quicker with their tests. Or, it's too late now, I must dash off. We can observe how these idiomatic expressions form a group or a unit. And in the first situation, take away is a phrasal verb that refers to the passing of time. In the second situation, dash off is another phrasal verb with a metaphorical meaning that refers to leaving a place very quickly. On the other hand, if we study, uh, for example, the second uh, situation, dash is a verb that refers to moving with violence. And off, as a separate word, is an adverb that refers to being away from a place. You may note that idioms are related not only to the language itself, but to the culture. For that reason, some idioms can be limited to specific areas. Let's study the following examples of British, American and Australian idioms. This first example that reads cheap as chips is a British idiomatic expression that means something reasonably priced. The very popular American idiom Big Apple refers to the city of New York. And finally, the Australian idiom to be on the wallaby track means to be unemployed. A metaphor is a comparison. A metaphor is a figure of speech that describes a person or object by referring to something that is considered to possess similar characteristics. Metaphors are also quite common in spoken English. In the following example that reads I am dying to see him in concert, the verb dying has a metaphorical meaning. You have seen that both idioms and metaphors can be used in formal and informal English and also in spoken and written English, but they are especially common in a spoken language. Idioms can be organized according to category or topic and also according to country or culture, as we have studied in the previous examples. We are now finishing this presentation and you should know what a metaphor is, what an idiom is, 
the situations in which metaphors and idioms are used in English. As always, I would like to ask you to make sure to complete the activities presented on Prometeo to enhance your independent learning skills. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy your day. Universidad de Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.